All right, let me just uh, run through the order of uh, those who uh, came, uh, my colleagues who come in to, um, to, uh, to participate in that. Senator McKean was early arriver, uh, Senator Johnson next, Senator Ayotte next. She's just left, she'll probably be back. Senator Baldwin, Senator Highcamp, Senator Landrieu. Um, and Senator McCain, I just want to say thank you for encouraging us to hold this hearing. We have another one next week, and very much for, uh, for again, for hosting me down in your state uh, a year ago. Thank you, for, and for all the work that you've done on the immigration reform legislation. Senator McCain. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and th <clears throat> thank you for holding this hearing, and thank the uh, witnesses. Um, uh, Mr. Greenberg, the President of the United States, according to a article in The Atlantic, um, met with a group of uh, advocates and others, uh, a coalition for humane immigrant rights and others, and uh, According to this article, he told the groups he had to enforce the law, even if that meant deporting hard cases with minors involved. Sometimes there's an inherent injustice in where you are born, and no president can solve that, Obama said, but president must send the message that you can't just show up on the border, flee, plead for asylum or refugee status, and hope to get it. Quote, then anyone can come in, and it means that effectively we don't have any kind of system Obama said, quote, we are a nation with borders that must be enforced. Uh, do you agree with that uh, uh, statement, uh, Mr. Winkowski and Mr. Greenberg? Uh, yes. Um, then I wonder why <clears throat> anyone would question the motivation for young people to come here since the latest information we have that in fiscal year 2013, 20,805 unaccompanied children from El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras were apprehended by the Border Patrol. In that same year, 2013, 1,669 of these unaccompanied children were, patri were repatriated to their home countries. If you were <clears throat> one of these children and you were there in one of these countries, wouldn't you think your odds are pretty good? Um, yeah, um, but there is a legal process, and that process uh, uh, takes uh, time um, to uh, make its way through uh, uh, the system, and, and that's uh, um, part of uh, the challenge that we have. The director talked about uh, from a standpoint of, of, of staffing of, of judges and just the legal process uh, um, that takes place. It takes, it takes time to uh, get to a point of... Uh, of removal in some of these cases. But despite what you have to say, Mr. Winkowski, if you're sitting there in El Salvador today and, mm. and one out of ten don't even show up with to get the permiso slips, only one out of ten show up actually before a judge. Isn't that true? Um, I've, I've heard that number, yes. You've heard that number? Yeah. You don't, you don't I, know? I, I, I've heard various numbers, but that's, that's one of them. It's, it's, uh, Was that a valid number? I, I, you wouldn't even right. know how many what percentage don't show up uh, after with a permiso slip. Well, that's for the for the judge, for the yeah. EOIR. Uh, perhaps uh, the chief judge can help me on that. Uh, Senator, if I may, yeah. that the I've heard the ninety percent number, and that number is actually not accurate. Um, the, 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 well, what is the accurate? The number? accurate number, the, the numbers that we have, uh, is for all juvenile cases. Now, these are not subdivided unaccompanied minors. The, the, our database... It should be subdivided unaccompanied minor, Mr. Osuna. They're well, the ones that are coming. So we're working with our, with our partners to try to get the better data on the actual numbers. But the numbers for juveniles that we have, we have ju juvenile numbers and then we have overall numbers. Uh, the number that we have is that 46% uh, of uh, juveniles um, actually don't show up for their immigration hearings. So now, half the people, only half the people don't show up. That's correct. I see. Now, I, sh I should note, I should note, however, that not showing up for an immigration hearing carries considerable consequences. Uh, whether you're an adult or a child or anybody that actually is issued an order to appear and is required to appear before an immigration judge and does not appear, that judge then issues an absentia order of removal. And that order of removal can be enforced. Um, after the, uh, you know, for, uh, I'm not showing up. So, but the fact is, in 2013, 1,669 out of 20,805 were actually in that year uh, returned. That's one out of uh, 20, roughly. So, I mean, 
it, 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 the fact is that people show up and they have every reason to believe according to these numbers, and I'll be glad to look at your numbers, even if it's only half, that there is ample incentive for them to come to this country. Uh, the President initially said that he believed that the Trafficking Victims Protection Act, which would provide the same status for Central America as we have for Mexico and Canada, uh, that the amendment uh, would be supported. Do you support that, Mr. Winkowski? I, I, I support a, a system, whether it's... Uh, I just asked if you support amending the bill. I don't, I'm not asking what you support. I'm asking if you support amending the bill. Yes. Thank you. Um, Mr. Winkowski, I've been representing the state of Arizona for many years, and I have never seen anything like your instructions to, signed by your name, interim protocol for visitations and tours to CBP detention facilities. Are you telling me when I visit a detention facility that I can't bring a cell phone with me? Are you saying that? United States Senator visiting a facility, these are the instructions that you have signed? Is that what you're saying? That the visitors can't <laughs> Visiting bring congressional uh, member of Congress. Um, don't recall saying that. I, I, the, what I recall has been some time. Let me provide you with yeah. a copy. It says C Distribution, R. Gill Karlikowski, Commissioner, Interim Protocol for Visitations and Tours to CBP Detention Facilities. You didn't see your own memo? No. I, I, that would be me. Okay. Uh, that would be me. I did issue that memo, and we have had huge numbers of... Am I allowed to bring a cell phone with me when I go on to a facility in Nogales, Arizona? N not to take photographs, I am not. Senator. I am not allowed to take photographs. Not to take photographs Why not? inside Why not? the facility. Why am I not allowed to the, do that? The children have a right to privacy, and that's why we're not having their faces uh, shown on... Media I may want to take a photo, a photo of something else. I and think also, if you wanted years, to take a photo, we certainly make arrangements for you to take a photo, just not of the children. That's not the instructions that you have given, sir. Have any physical or verbal contact with detained children unless previously requested and specifically... Oh, have any physical or verbal contact with CBP detainees and or staff? Are you telling me that I can't even speak to the staff there? Senator, I'm not telling you you couldn't speak to the staff. We would make well, why did you issue these instructions? We have had requests by hundreds and hundreds. I'm talking about members of Congress, sir, which you said yes. applies to members of Congress. I'm not asking about the hundreds. I'm talking about the responsibilities I have in my own state. It does, and we would make special arrangements for special consideration, Senator. But that is not according to your instructions. And when I was there, then the, the Border Patrol and the people there said that they didn't want me speaking to any of the staff or children. I view that as a violation of my responsibilities. I'm, I'm not familiar with your You're not familiar with They were carrying out your instructions, sir. I want it fixed, and I want it fixed immediately. Understand? If a member of Congress can't visit a facility with his, in his own state, a federal, I, the people of Arizona elected me, and I'm not supposed to even carry a cell phone with me, Mr. You have overstepped your responsibilities and your authority, sir. And I want those instructions revoked as far as members of Congress are concerned, and I want it done today. Do you understand? Thank you, Mr. Chairman.